Hey guys, DIY Car Guy here, back for another installment of the interior swap. Uh, yesterday, I went ahead and got the seats out. <clears throat> uh, showed you guys how to do that. Um, I put the airbag in, that's gonna be a separate video. I'm gonna be uploading that probably here in the next couple days. Oh, it'll probably be out by the time you see this video. But um, I got these little pieces in the mail the other day. I still don't have this. I'm still gonna have to buy that new. That's a pretty expensive piece, so I'm gonna have to wait. Hopefully in this video, we'll get the carpet up. Um, before we do that, we have to get the, these back little pillars out, all these and all that. And then that back bar has got to come out first. So I'm gonna get to doing that. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and uh, show you how to do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off on this side. Uh, I'm gonna take all three of these off and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat belts off. The seat belts and these are, I'm using a T45. I'm thinking they're, I'm thinking they're like a T47 maybe, but uh, a T45 star bit works. Um, just obviously try not to crank on it too hard if it's giving you issues, because you really, really don't want to strip one of these out. But. I've taken it off. I took it off the donor truck. Didn't really have any problems. So I think it'll be all right. Probably should have showed you before I took this off, but um, this, what's holding the seatbelt on is there's one Torx bolt, Torx head screw here. And then up here, this just pops off. And then there's another Torx head up here. And then these, it's pretty simple. They're just right there. And after you get those bolts or after you get those screws out they just come right out all right now that all these three are out i can focus on getting this out because you've got to get this piece out before you can worry about getting any of these pieces out or anything like that so uh, i'm gonna set you guys up and just pop this out real quick and as you can see all i need to do is just get in here and just like it's about almost everything in this interior is just clipped in. All right, so I broke a couple tabs on it. It's probably better if you have some kind of pry tool or something. You can see the ones in there. But it's out. Like I said, I'm replacing all this. I'm not that worried about it. <clears throat> but just like I've said in the other videos before, just be careful taking these out because you're most likely going to break some clips. All right, now to get started taking off these pillars, you're going to want to take this little clip off. I got some little, I guess, trim remover pieces, you would call it maybe. Just try to make this job a little easier. Just get it back in there. And then you squeeze. And it did that. So that's off. Now we can worry about taking these off. All right, I've got you on the tripod now because I'm gonna need both my hands for this. Now, I've only taken out one of these from the junkyard, but I think I did it pretty good. So all you're gonna do is kind of pull it this way, like um, towards the driver's side. And after you have this clip out here, it should just pull, you should just be able to take it out. But like I said before, be very careful because these clips aren't the strongest. All right, and there we go. Uh, I mean, you saw how much I was putting into it. You can actually put a little more into it than I thought. But uh, I didn't break any clips, and I was, I was digging into it pretty hard, so stronger than I thought, but this is off. All right, now that that's off, we can get to the seatbelt um, retractor, I guess you would call it. And there's one, I'm going to call it a T45, but I'm pretty positive it's a T47. Um, hex screw right there, the same ones you use to take the seatbelt bolts off and everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip that off and uh, I'll come back. All right, so I got that out. Mine, actually, I needed to replace this anyways. 
because this one, this is the passenger side. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't pull out. It's almost like it's just stuck. And uh, so I need to replace that anyways. But yeah, so that's out. I'm gonna go ahead and go over there and do that other side. And then after that, we can start working on pulling up this carpet. There is a couple more things I'll have to get to before I can actually pull the carpet out. Like um, this piece, um, I think this is like to hold your jack or something like that. These are just, most positive, these are just 10 millimeters. And there's three of them. Okay, there's just two of them on mine. The one that I pulled out of the junkyard, there was three, but there's just two of them on mine. There might be three on yours. But uh, so we're just gonna take those off. There's one right here, one right there. Um, the seat belts, you don't have to take those off. I am replacing these, but if you're doing this and you're just not changing any of that, you don't have to take those off. Um, I'm probably gonna take those off anyways, but I'll, I probably won't show you guys that. It's just real simple, it's just these bolts. And I'm almost positive they're, they're 18s too. I got it here. Yeah, those are 18s too. So yeah, it's just those two little bolts. And then there is uh, that bar that I showed you up there. That's gotta come off unless you wanna cut your carpet, which you can cut your carpet, but I don't really wanna do that. And uh, it doesn't have to come completely off. You can just take off the bottom one and just kind of bend it up. Not crazy, but just enough to get it to where you can pull the carpet out. So I'm gonna go over there and take that off and then I'll get to showing you guys everything. Else. All right guys, so both of those pillars are out. Um, this one over here, I ended up cracking in the middle over here. I can show you that real quick. Um, I pulled a little too hard on the top, or the bottom, I should say. And it came out and the top clips didn't. I ended up cracking that right there. Um, so just like I said, just be very, very careful. Because if you pull on those too hard, they'll break. All right, so now we're almost ready to tear the carpet up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this, this piece over here. And then this was the bar that I was telling you about. You just take off that bottom bolt and then you can just kind of scoot it back a little bit. Because if you don't, you gotta cut the carpet because it wraps around it. So I'm gonna get to doing that. And then I'll show you how to do that because that takes, I just figured I could show you guys a little more how to do that. But then I'll go, I'll go ahead and take that off and I'll get to it. All right guys. So this one right here is a 13 millimeter. So all you're gonna do is zip this off real quick. Now it holds the dash in, so it's gonna be in there pretty good. All right, now what I was talking about bending this bar, you see how the carpet just kind of goes around it. There is no slits in it. You can cut it. I probably could with this one, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it just in case you just need to pull the carpet out to maybe clean it or, uh, you know, whatever you need to do. Um, or say if you're pulling it out of a junkyard like me and you're wanting to repurpose it, you don't want to cut that unless you just really don't care about it, but I, I care about it a little bit. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take this and just bend it out just a little bit just enough to where it's kind of away from that and then after that you can just kind of slide the carpet through it after you start getting it all up so I'm gonna start getting all this carpet up now I got to clean the interior but I'll set you guys up on the tripod and uh, start getting this carpet out. Okay, so now I got everything mostly cleaned up. All that's left is the little trash and all that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this carpet out and uh, let you guys see it. Now, I'm not taking out the little mat that's under it because it's still in pretty decent shape. Um, so, I'll show you guys, if you were to take that mat out, I'll show you guys how to do that. But I'm not having to do that in my particular situation. And uh, you can see what I'm talking about here. It's still kind of hanging up. So you might need to bend that just a little bit more to get it to come around it. And then there we go. And that's around that. You ain't got to worry about that anymore. So you don't have to bend it a lot. 
just enough to kind of get it away from that and then you can just kind of snake the carpet around it everything else the carpet should just pull up and out uh, so I'll get to doing that and I'll get back to you guys by by any roadblocks All right, so one thing, um, there was a clip holding in the carpet right here. It looked like this. Uh, this, I didn't notice it when I first did it and I just ripped it out of the carpet. Um, but it just, it clips here and it's in the carpet. So just be careful with that if you're reusing your carpet. Again, I'm not. So. Uh, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna get a shot back. There's a lot of dirt and debris. Figure might as well got the carpet up and everything. Really get in there with it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come show you guys how you would take this out if you were to be replacing the mat as well as that. I'm not replacing any of this because all this is still in good shape on mine. I'm just doing the color change. So I'll be right back. All right guys, now it's all cleaned up. It looks a lot better. Um, if you were to take this pad out it all um basically just comes out the only thing you got to take out is this which is clipped here that which is clipped in the same spot on the other side and then this whole thing lifts up and then up in here it goes here so it's all one piece and from here you got to get it off of this which it's really not that bad, but I'm not gonna do it because that's just more work. But you gotta get it off of this, pull it up, and then this, you pull these up, you pull this whole thing up, and then kind of slide it in an upward motion out, and that whole thing comes out. And then this wire harness is attached kind of throughout through the, with uh, these little clips. And uh, I believe there's one ground so you got one here, this is the driver's side going to the passenger. So you got one here, one here in the middle, one here, and then there's a ground right there that you're gonna have to undo. Okay, so after you get this up, all those, all the harness pulled out of the clips, that um, ground undone, these will be all free. All this will be free. So what you can do is, then you might have to unplug this. I believe this is the airbag. You might have to unplug this. If you don't, if you don't want to, you can just cut that and it basically be the same thing. Um, so you just do that and then you can just pull, you can either pull it from the front to the back, front to the back or the back to the front, whichever way is easiest for you to get this out. And then it just kind of folds up and pulls out. Um, same with this one. You've got these little clips. Uh, I think there's four of them. Yeah, there's four of them. And once you pull this out, this whole thing just pulls straight out. There's no kind of finagling with it. It just comes straight out. All right, guys, so carpet is out. As you can see, my pile of garbage over here, or I took the rest of the interior out. Now it's starting to get to the little exciting part. Um, I'm putting the new carpet in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to lay down the new uh, carpet. I, I'll say mat, because instead of getting the actual carpet, I got um, like the work truck rubber mat because I found one. It was a really good shape. It actually looked kind of cool. It's like a diamond plate pattern. I've actually never seen that before. Uh, it could just be me. Maybe it's maybe it's in all of them. Uh, just let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I've never seen it before, so I thought it was kind of cool. And it's actually black. It's not like the charcoal gray. It's actually black. So um, I'm going to work on laying that down. And uh, yeah, I'll get right, back guys, to you. Real quick before I actually... Real quick before I actually start laying this down and trying to get it into position i just kind of want to show you so it's it's this rubber material it's almost like um i wouldn't say diamond plate more like a scale 
more like a scale texture. I thought it was kind of cool. I've never seen one like it. Again, I could be wrong, but I just think it's kind of cool. And like I said, it's it's completely black. It's a work truck, so it'll be easy to clean, um, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna work on getting this aligned. Uh, I'll probably set you guys up on the tripod, just kind of show you the process of me aligning this, because I don't know how easy it's gonna be. It could just, after I get the kinks out, just fall right into place. But um, I'll, get, I'll show you guys that so you guys can see. All right guys, so here I go trying to align this. Uh, I'm gonna kind of try to do maybe the front first because I feel like that little bar is gonna be the hardest part of this whole thing. So I'm just gonna try to get it around this bar. All right, so I got it around the bar. That actually wasn't that bad. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay down this side and then work over to the passenger side. Okay guys, so Matt is in. Uh, it was actually pretty much just as easy as I was hoping. Um, the one that I pulled out, I didn't rip these out. These are these tabs that I was talking about that are also holding the carpet in. Um, I didn't rip these out in the new one. So all you do is just line those up, push those all the way down. Again, on this side, basically the same spot. Just line it up. Oh, I'm still on that one. Yeah, these little clips, you just grab it line it up and it'll hold your carpet down and also hold those little vents in place so that's good and like i said it was pretty much just as easy as i thought it was going to be or at least hoping um once i kind of got all the kinks out of it it pretty much just slid right into place and uh, i think this will be a lot better than just a regular carpet for me for you maybe not if you're wanting to get a show truck like i said if you're wanting show quality all that stuff obviously go get a new mat uh, if you want the rubber mat get a new one uh, if you want the carpet get a new one they're not expensive just like i said in the last one more money than i'm wanting to throw at the truck so i'm gonna go work on now probably putting the black panels back in and the seat belts so as you can see i got the passenger side in looks really really good in my opinion so now I'm going to show you how to um, do the seat belt and this big pillar on the driver's side. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod and I'll show you how to do okay. it. So you can do it where you put this on while the seat belt's still in it. But uh, it's, I found it a little easier to just put the seat belt on first. Um, and I'm sure anybody would. But so move this tuck this back this probably won't be in your way mine's all sort of mine's all sorts of tore up and nasty but uh so you're gonna take your seat belt and you're gonna put it back where it came out of there's a, a tab on that side on the passenger side there is a hole that this goes into on this side it's just let's see if i can show you on this side it's just the hole and then you got the edge of the body right there. So that's how that one goes in. The other one's a little more self-explanatory, but I mean, it's still, it's still pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and start screwing this in. And I've learned about these seat belts too. Um, if they're not straight up and down, they don't want to, um, like if they're not the way they're supposed to be, they're, they don't want to, 
like extend or anything. So just keep that in mind if you're going through a junkyard or something trying to look for seat belts and you pull one out and you're like, oh, well, this one doesn't work. Just remember it's gotta be in the right position because these are designed in the, in, uh, in the event of an accident. Say you're flipped over or something, these seat belts are supposed to hold you in place. So if they're upside down, sideways, um, anything like that, they're gonna think car's upside down, I gotta hold you know, this person in place. So they're not gonna wanna move. But I'll get this in and then I'll get back to you when I'm putting on this panel. All right, so this is all buttoned up. It's just that one. Um, I just didn't wanna keep the camera rolling while I was tightening that down. I know you guys probably don't care to see that. All right, so now we've got to send these through this pillar. So all you gotta do with that is it's real simple. You just take it and just shove it up through here. The seat belt one, it's easier to just pull the seat belt through by itself and then get the mounting and then get the mounting one, send it through to you. You can get them through at the same time, but it's just, it just makes it easier. It makes life a whole lot better. So I'm gonna pop this back on now. This one is not gonna be as easy as the other one. There is a uh, location, a locating pin that, well, here's the old, this one came out of the old one. It's a locator pin that goes right here, right here behind the back. And uh, it just lines it up so that way you don't really have to search for the quick holes, but I broke it off of this one. I didn't break it off the other one, that one in, that one went in super easy. So I'm kind of hoping this one will be that, this will be the same way. I doubt it will, it never is, but one can hope. Well, all right. So that one went in super, super easy. Almost a little easier than the other one. So uh, I'm gonna get these mounted. This mounts to, this part mounts to up here. And you wanna make sure that it's, um, it's kind of like angled like that. You wanna make sure it's, it kind of goes with the pillar line. See how it kind of like ang angles in and so does that. You wanna make sure that, and then, uh, so I'm gonna get that in there and I'll show you guys what to do with the bottom one. Never to throw your screws away cause in that junkyard one, I didn't care. So I was just throwing the bolts away left and right. I was like, um, since I'm replacing it all, I'll just use all of it out of the old truck. And uh, yeah, so just make sure, if you're in the junkyard, it's probably not too important. But if you're you know, in your truck, doing this stuff make sure that you don't throw away your bolts unless you have new ones if you have new ones obviously disregard that but that was just real quick okay now that that's in okay so i just went ahead and did the bottom one too um it's it's super simple it's the same thing as you did when you took it off and uh i'm gonna go ahead and clip this piece in this is a little seat belt cover thing and all you do with that is just take it in there and just pops in so seat belts are done, seat belts are in. Um, I got the panel in there, I got this clip up here. Uh, now I'm going to put this panel back on. I'm going to put these back on and hopefully get the back seat in here. All right guys, so off camera, I went ahead and put in the back seat as well as the seat belts. To put the seat belts in, you just take these off and these are 18s as well. There's one here for the um, middle seat belt and uh, driver side seat belt buckle. And then there's one over here for the middle seat belt buckle and passenger seat belt buckle. Uh, it's just super simple. It's just 118, you just pop it off, pull it out, put it back in. The seat itself actually wasn't that bad. Um, it was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was gonna be to line it up. You just kind of push the back all the way up against this piece. And then uh, the hooks basically line themselves up after you get it lined up with the bolts down here. And there's also a cap here that uh, you gotta remember to put back on and don't do what I did and break this clip and think you don't need it because if you want this to not kind of pop up like that, you're gonna want that clip. But uh, yeah, I broke mine. So 
so the back seat's in. Um, I was gonna show you guys how to replace this underneath cake bolster, but the one I got is real messed up and doesn't have the glove box, and I thought I could clean it up and save it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So that'll be in a later video. All right, guys, so as you notice, the seats are back in, the carpet's in, it looks great. I love it, back seats are in, all this is in. Now, uh, I didn't put the, uh, the factory jack jack uh, I guess holder back in there because uh, it's just kind of looked ugly to me and I'm not going to use it so I didn't put that back but if you want to I mean it's the same as it coming out um, I didn't film most of this because I'm sure nobody wants to see everything go back in because they basically know how it goes back in just the same way it came out same thing with the front seats I got the new center console in I've got a video on that but but basically the interior is done all i need is um the dash bezel this underneath kick panel um i got one but i'll show it to you guys once i got it home i started looking at it it was in a lot worse shape than i thought so this is it um as you can see it's broken there i thought that wouldn't be a big deal but it's like i think it melted or something up here because it's bent um a lot of that stains i try to get some of it off but it's just more of a pain i'd rather just go to a junkyard and it didn't have a glove box so it's more of a pain i'd rather just go to the junkyard and pull one off that has a glove box not as dirty all that stuff like and subscribe if you like the video if you want to see more videos like it you want to know anything else anything at all if you would have rather have me showed you guys uh me putting the seats back in let me know because that'll help me out a lot if you have questions concerns comments uh just let me know anything and uh thanks for watching and uh until next time